Good morning. It is 6.43 a.m. on Friday, TGF, January 30th, 2015. This is Christiana Ellis, and, or I am Christiana Ellis, haha, <laughs> and this is Five More Minutes, uh, the video where every day I record a video right after I get up and take the dog out. That is the one thing that I do, uh, you know, I don't want to make my poor little dog uh, do the pee pee dance waiting for me while I do this so I take her off first but anyway so what was the last thing I did last night before going to bed I finally finished playing Dragon Age Inquisition um, my playthrough time topped out okay you know as has become the typical custom Luna finishes eating her kibble and then comes and checks in by jumping up on my lap, or you know her front end anyway. She's actually too long to st you know to be completely on my lap. So usually, like when I'm on the couch or something, she just sort of props her front end on my lap and allows her her rear to uh, stick off to the side. Just because you know the realities of her anatomy are what they are. Anyway, I finished playing Dragon Age Inquisition. My playthrough time topped out at like something like 130 hours because <laughs> I was going around and doing just about everything. There's a few of the collectible things like the mosaic pieces that I didn't um, and I didn't get all of. Partly just because by the time I was really wrapping up the idea of saying, oh well, probably in places where I actually did go, I just missed a couple. That was less appealing to just try to say, okay, let's revisit every place I've been in the whole game. Alternately, I suppose I could have used a guide, but that starts feeling a little bit funky too. Anyway, though, the ending. Um, I, I liked it. I wasn't blown away, but that's fine. Is definitely one of the the delights of these games. It's not necessarily the plot of the big ending. It's just kind of the journey, spending time in the world and spending time with the characters. That's obviously the big appeal for the Bioware games. Typically, is just the characters are so great. All the side characters that join you on your parties and you know the relationships that you build with them, both friend uh, friendship and romantic. And on that level, it absolutely succeeds. I, I was fond of all of the nine followers as well as you know a variety of secondary characters uh, that I just thought all of them were great and well written and interesting. You know even as I agreed more with some and less with others for example. They're all cool and I really appreciated that. Now with the Dragon Age game, it's unfortunate probably that every subsequent Dragon Age game ending for me is going to have to be compared to the ending of my playthrough of Dragon Age Origins, which is only unfortunate in the sense that that particular storyline for me and the way it played out for me, which is different than how it might have played out for other people, is probably my favorite video game ending of all time. And so when if I sound like I am less thrilled with this one, bear in mind that it's only because I'm directly comparing against my favorite of all time. So anyway, um, I could get in more into spoilers, but I don't know if that's really the right, uh, this is the right forum for that because you could start delving into the nitty gritty of the lore, which is cool and could be fun. I don't know if some people are willing to or interested in um, a more in-depth spoiler filled discussion. Definitely let me know. But I think for, for now I'm going to, uh, you know, getting close to five minutes anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. But I have big plans for tomorrow's video. Part of what I did in unpacking my apartment yesterday was, you know, I'm, I'm getting close to being completely out of boxes. Um, is I actually unboxed all my old comic books, many of which date all the way back to the mid 90s when I was like in high school and collecting then. And I would wager 
that something like 90% of these I have not really looked at in any meaningful way since I bought them. And so uh, pouring through those and maybe collecting one or two at random to uh, look more in depth at is potentially fun. And also um, the fact that uh, the very first comic that I ever bought when I was eight years old in 1986, I do still have, and I, it, in fact, it happened to be in an easy to find location as I was unpacking the comics, and so uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that too. So we're over five minutes, so remember you can find all my stuff at ChristianaEllis.com, and I'm at Christiana Ellis on Twitter, and I will see you tomorrow for five more minutes.